when we first did Predator, it was an eight-week project. And uh, it was crazy. It was like, I think the first four weeks was me, Matt Rose, and Shannon Shay. I remember hallucinating for the first time. I was driving home, and I see like, oh, hey, why is there family sitting there waiting for the bus at 3 a.m.? If they get closer, they morph into a garbage can and a sign. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wow, that's like crazy. <laughs> so I was going to go tell Stan, like, Stan, I'm, I'm losing my mind, I'm whatever. And then I go to Stan, and Stan goes, hey, uh, before you tell me anything, Keep your eye on Matt. I'm a little worried about him. <laughs> there was no moment of peace. <laughs> None. Except the fireworks and stuff like that. It's a different story in Mexico. It's, yeah, we're never going to get this done. We need more people. And then the second month, we had a full shot of people. Thrown is the exact right word. Stan turned to me and said, and you're going to mechanize the face, Richard. And I went, I'm going to what? Because I had never done a radio-controlled mechanism before. I'd only done cable control mechanisms. So I had to learn a whole new technology. And I stepped up and did. Or Stan said, I want those mandibles to be spread. And you were like, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> And we had to add that big servo. Yeah, and I remember you handed it to us and said, you got to find a place to put this. For fortunately. <laughs> Going, where, where? And then someone took that um, string of vertebrae and just went, and it just dropped right in. I was like, okay. He just revealed what epic failures we were. <laughs> I remember Stan asked me like okay I need you to do the, the gun for this for this thing did the original gun really really quickly probably in the probably in what maybe a week and a half maybe two weeks at the most and I get this call from Richard where do we get the the belt drive for the for the gun where was like why are you asking me this He's like um we've had a little accident he said well the the effects guy had loaded all six chambers of the gun and they were gonna do a test with firing the guns so they could see what it looked like and when they went to fire one all six went off which had which just basically broke all the belts in the gun. Exactly. Could have seen Kevin though, after it had happened, and he was just standing there, and I'm like, it's not possible, he's dead. <laughs> he's just been killed. And I ran up, I pulled the helmet off, and smoke just came out around his face. <laughs> and this is all he said, what happened? <laughs> Kevin was just an amazing, amazing human being. I mean, he was so kind and gentle and professional, and we had, we shot so many like, like goof around movies too with him that but, but entire and, movies yeah you know years later when you talk to people and they go oh man i really kind of like the, the little details you put on the predator like you know there's, there's things that are tied around here and there and i'm thinking we did that to keep the suit closed we literally <laughs> to hide, literally were like to panicking hide the and like what do we do and you know dad was never he never liked to call himself an effects guy he he liked to call uh, what he and his team did um creating characters and creating iconic characters and the Predator's one that uh, will live, I'm sure, for many, many years. And he's here in spirit. And uh, thank you all.